the strongest ones in the game. In this video, I'm going over the best wands in the game! Right, you guys heard me correct. In this video, I'm going over the best wands in Prodigy. So, hey, what's going on everyone? One Doctor Genius here and welcome back to another Prodigy video. So without further ado, let's hop on straight into our video. Alright guys, so as you know, wands play a very crucial part in the game. Right, you equip wands to do additional damage and cast different spells on your opponents which you cannot cast. Also, it allows you to unlock like the third slot, so yeah. Wands equals importance. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the strongest wands in the game and how and where to get them. Okay. Now, the easiest to access wands are the wands at the epic subspace. Alright guys, so one of the most easily available wands in the game is the wands which you guys can get from the epic subspace, aka the epic wands, aka matcha's wands. Right, so now over here we have matcha, now let's click on matcha. Alright, so matcha says, welcome to wandering wares, we specialize in ancient artifacts for powerful wizards, but I'm not interested in gold. Right now, the main thing about this place is that they specialize in rare artifacts, which give you about the highest power bonus you guys can get in the game. But here's the thing, they only trade for old copper coins. But the thing is, if you have any old copper coins, I'll gladly trade for them. So, which means, you guys, you cannot use co coins to trade with matcha. What you guys have to do is you have to use actual copper coins, which you guys can earn by doing battles to trade with matcha. Now, you may be wondering, what's so special about matcha shop? Well, you guys can see over here, well, it, the first thing is that it has nine different hats, right? Over here, you guys can see, you guys can get yourself some pretty decent hats. But what we're looking for is we're looking at wands. Right now, if you guys look over here, you guys can see... In total, we have 9 wands over here. And if you guys look at the wands, you guys can see 20 power bonus? What? Well, that is the highest amount of damage a wand can simply do in the game. Now, in order to buy these, the only thing which you guys need is 20 copper coins. And once you have 20 copper coins, buying everything else over here will be easy. So right now, basically, you guys can see the, ice, the Arcturus power wand is uh, ice spell. Big Hex, which is electricity, that's electric. Titus or Diverdile or the Diverdile wand is water, Floor Fox wand does earth, and Bonfire one does fire. Now, out of these wands, which one do you guys think is the best to buy? Well, hint, hint, the best wand out of here to buy is the Magmischief Fire Rod. Right now, the wands over here only cost 20 to 30 copper coins. Now, the original Epic's wands, I'm pretty sure they cost 30 copper coins, while the Dragon wands cost 20. Now, I do believe that their Dragon wands cost 20 because they have a power bonus of less, but there you guys can see what they mean, right? Yeah. Right guys, so these 5 wands over here are some of the best wands in the game. They provide you with the highest damage bonus even possibly possible. And the only thing is you guys can get these from 20 copper coins. Now do remember that copper coins are rare in the game. So what you guys will have to do is go straight after the Magma Shift Rod. Because fire is, strong against fire is strong against two elements and weak against only a few. So in this case what you guys would want to do is you just want to collect yourself fire and you would be set to go. Right so now basically this is where you guys can get the top 5 best ones in the game. Now let me just quickly open up my inventory and show you guys all of them. Inventory opened up items right and now if you guys scroll down through the items you guys will hear that And we get our first two epic subspace wands over here We get ourselves the mega mischief wand and the big hex wand as you guys can see they do a power bonus of 20 and cast a three person spell If you scroll down for a bit you guys will notice that we get all of these wands from these member chests and then soon We get ourselves the Arcturus wand which has a power bonus of 20 a few years later, we get the Flora Fox Wand, which has a power bonus of 20. And a few centuries later, we get the Divedile Wand. So basically, from there, we have completed our wand collection. But what other wands have a power bonus of this? Well, some other wands in the game which give you guys the power bonus of 20, aka the highest power bonus wand which you guys can get in the game, are, drumroll please, number one over here, we have ourselves one of the rarest wands in the game, the Dragonox Wand! Alright guys, originally the Dragonox Wand was awarded to the best players of the Prodigy Arena back in 2017-ish, right? Yeah, before 2017, this was one of the best items in the game and you could only obtain this by doing the Arena Season. Right, yeah, the only way you could get this is by doing the Arena Season. Now, if you guys asked me, that was pretty cool, you'd have to reach like the top 1000 for this. But either way, you guys can tell that basically over here, what you guys can see is that 
And because this wand was so hard to get, they gave it the highest power bonus they could in the game, which was a power bonus of 20, a range of 3 people, and the spell which they can cast is Emburns. Alright guys, so let's quickly read the description and take a look at the wand. There's something about the staff that you don't like, as the strange whispers beckon you to hold on to it and never let go. Sorry, it seems like this wand is a little bit creepy, but you guys can tell this wand is pretty cool. And you may be wondering, hold up, this was in the old arena season, like, how are we supposed to get it now? Well, there's the thing, you guys, this wand appears every single time during Summerfest. So basically, every time Summerfest comes around, which is once in a year, you guys will have once in a year opportunity to buy yourselves some of the rarest wands in the game, right? Like the Dragonox wand. Now, the Dragonox wand isn't only one of the only wands. If we scroll down on our list a little bit later, you guys will see that we have ourselves the Myra Shade wand. Now, let me quickly pull up the Myra Shade's wand. Oh yes, now let's open up our inventory over here, and you guys can see straight in the wands tab, after scrolling down for like 5 million years, you guys will see we get ourselves the Myra Shade wand. Ah yes, over here you guys can see we have two Myra Shade wands. Now you guys may be wondering, what? How do you have two Myra Shade wands? Well, here's the thing, you guys can originally obtain the Myra Shade Wand, well, you guys were able to obtain the Myra Shade Wand from the Twilight Wheel, but Prodigy removed the wand from the Twilight Wheel. So now what you guys can do is, the only way you guys can obtain the Myra Shade Wand is by completing the Dark Tower. Now, the Dark Tower basically has 100 floors, so basically in order to complete the Dark Tower, you guys will get yourself approximately, oh, I don't know, maybe 10,000 stars, which is actually a pretty decent amount. But then again, you have three-person monster battles, but this wand is probably worth as much as the Dragonox wand. It's that hard to get. Alright, so basically, in order to get this wand, you guys have to defeat, you guys have to defeat two bosses, four battles, four side battles, and multiple wizards, right? You guys have to defeat the entire Dark Tower. Tower, which is a hundred floors, right? That is actually pretty crazy to get this one. Now, once you guys do that, you guys will get yourself the Myra Staff, right? Let's read the information about it. So you guys can tell the wand looks pretty cool, and this is what its item image looks like. Now, over here it says, "A gift from the great wizard Myra. Just holding to the staff makes you feel stronger than ever before." And it seems like Myra Shade Staff can cast a spell Winter's Breath. It has a range of three and does a power bonus of twenty. So if you guys ask me, that pretty radical right yeah it pretty much is yeah so this basically makes my Shades wand one of the hardest to get in the game wands but also one of the strongest and this is like one of the biggest flex and the best part is this wand i don't think it requires membership well as far as i can see it doesn't yeah yeah this wand doesn't require membership to use so yeah yeah it doesn't require membership to use so, all right guys so there you guys go those are basically the seven strongest wands in the game. Now there is one other strong wand in the game which is called the Trial Master's Wand. Now this wand was only available to the first thousand players of Prodigy. And not only that, this wand has come under Twilight Wheel like maybe once or twice but never again. It was obtainable in the Lost Island but not anymore. So basically, the rarest wand in the game would be the Trial Master's Wand which is a hard bonus of 10 and it is unobtainable. So it is a common choice above. It is unobtainable anymore so yeah. Trial Master set unobtainable, unfortunately, because it was for the first thousand, like a limited prize. But yeah, those are basically the strongest wands in the game. Now you may be wondering, tell me more about the Trial Master wand. Well, the Trial Master wand used to do a damage bonus of 25, where Prodigy later detected that down to 20. Right, so basically now all wands in the game have a maximum power bonus of 20, and you guys can increase that to 25 by wearing the Ice Dragon Tooth Crown. Other than that, the strongest wand combination you guys can have is either of those 5 epic wands along with the Ice Dragon Tooth Crown. And if you guys get that combination, you guys will be able to become the strongest wizard in the game! Right, yeah, we have a power bonus of 5 helmet and a power bonus of 5 and a power bonus of 20 wand. Together, we have a power bonus of 25. So right over here you guys can see these are the 7 strongest ones in the game and I hope you guys found this video informational and figured out what the strongest ones in the games are and what you guys have to buy to go faster in the game. But yeah guys that's gonna be one Dr. Genius signing off. I hope you guys found this video informational and if you did not, and if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already and I will be catching you all next time. One Dr. Genius out the house, bye and have a good time guys. Thank <music> you.